Hey guys, welcome back. All right, in this video, we're gonna cover a couple things. One, the scenario I was in. Two, a couple things to keep in mind if you get pulled over by a cop. Three, the main reason and the main purpose of this video, which is what are your options after you get a speeding ticket? Are there just two, guilty, not guilty? Well, stick around to find out. Also, if you like these kind of things, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like my videos. All right, guys, let's get to it. There I was, driving to work singing to the music, minding my own business, and I pop over a hill. What do I see? State trooper. I look down at my speed, going 73 and a 55. Well, I look in my rear view mirror, but I knew what I was gonna see. Smokey was on my tail. So what did I do? <laughs> I just pulled over. All right, now I pulled over. I'm gonna put it in park so he doesn't think I'm gonna run. Now that I have it in park, I get my license and registration out because that's what he's gonna ask for when he walks up. Also, I wanna put my hands in clear view. If I was a cop, I'd wanna know where people's hands are just so I know what they're doing. And he walks up. What's he ask? All right, ma'am. Hand over your license and registration. Of course he does. His next question is gonna be something that alludes to, do you know why I pulled you over? Or do you know how fast you were going? And uh, the answer is yes. I know I was going way too fast. I was going about 20 over. He said I was going 73 and a 55. He's right. I was definitely speeding. And that's about what I saw in my speedometer. So now he's going to go back to his car. He goes back to his car. And I might get a ticket. I might not. Probably will. In fact, this time I texted my wife like, I'm pretty sure I'm getting a ticket right now. And I did. So now that I got a ticket, there's a couple things you can do. One, you can plead guilty and just pay for it. Two, you can try to go to court and plead not guilty. But in this case, I'm guilty. So is there any other option? Of course there is. That's why you're here. So let's talk about what that option is. All right, so now I got my ticket. There's two things that are important on here. One, court date, because I got to get everything done before that court date. And two, what county is this in? Because I needed to get in contact with the district attorney for that county. The district attorney is the guy or gal who makes the decision on can you get a plea deal. So in this case, I didn't even have to call him. I went to the website for the district attorney for that county. And guess what they had? This little baby. So this is a traffic reduction request form. All I have to do is send this in and then see what they give me. This is where it all starts. The traffic reduction request form. So what do we have to do? We just have to fill in some basic information on the top. Then it has check boxes below it. This makes it real easy. This way, you send in what they want you to send in and everything gets done correctly. Your form may not look exactly like mine. In fact, it probably doesn't. Each county is gonna have their own. If your county doesn't have one, just talk to your district attorney for that county. All right, I'm gonna cover real quick what it has on it. A clear copy of your traffic ticket, a copy of your driving history, an accident report if there was an accident, which I didn't have one in this case, insurance coverage, if you're not covered by insurance and you got a traffic ticket, you might want to get a lawyer. Then mine said I should have a self-addressed envelope with a stamp. I ended up getting an email, so that was kind of a moot point, but it was on my checkbox, so I got it done and I sent it in. All right, let's see what's next. Maybe I'll get a reduced ticket. Maybe I'll get some other deal. You know what I got? I got the option to go to a traffic diversion program. Basically, I do a six hour course on traffic safety and I get this ticket thrown out. So they told me to do that. In order to do that, I had to submit more forms. So this is a little time consuming, but I still think it's worth it. So this is a three page form. Huh, three page form? Nah, it's okay. It's really big print. It wasn't that hard to do. Once again, basic information, first page, second page, does this apply to you? Which if the district attorney told you to do this, most likely it applies to you, but read through it anyway. And then once again, it has check boxes. So you'll notice if you look down this list, everything's the same except for this top one. This top one says $200 cashier's check. Well, I sent in this $200 cashier's check with all this information and a self-addressed stamped envelope, which wasn't used again. Then I took this driving course and I can use this driving course to get a reduction on my insurance. Isn't that ironic? All right, so was it worth it? I think so. Cost. $200, that was just to get in the driving diversion program. $26 to take the actual course itself. 
That's just what the course cost. And then maybe two or three dollars here and there for stamps and cashier check fees, whatever. So we'll say it's 230 bucks. You know what the fine is for driving 17 miles per hour in the speed limit? 350 bucks right off the bat. Plus, it could go against my insurance. Plus, I would add points on my license. Nobody wants points on their license. So in the end, I think this is totally worth it. Six hours of my time, some paperwork routed, it saved me 150 bucks and maybe some future hassle. All right, there you go. You welcome. If you got a ticket, do this and then thank me for it. My favorite quote from that traffic diversion program, 80% of drivers think they're better than the average driver, but that can't be true. That applies to a lot of things in life, doesn't it? All right, guys. Well, drive safe. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and I'll see you next time.